Hello and welcome to my channel. In this channel, we explain various nursing concepts in a simple form for a better and easy understanding. These videos could be used by both LPN and RN students as well as nurses who are trying to refresh their basic concepts. My name is Nas Mosh. In this video, we are going to talk about thyroid disorder medication. Levothyroxine is a synthetic form of T3 and T4 which is a thyroid hormone that naturally occurs in the body. So side effects include symptoms of hypothyroidism, which include anxiety, GI upset, sweating, weight loss, and heat intolerance. Remember, when somebody has hypothyroidism, they're in a hypermetabolic state, so everything is up. Always remember that while the patient is on therapy, we monitor their T3 and T4 four levels as well as TSH levels closely. We advise the patient to take this medication on an empty stomach with a full glass of water before breakfast. And this medication is always required for a lifelong treatment. PTU. PTU is used for Graves disease. It's also used in a preparation for a thyroidectomy. Thyroidectomy is the removal of a thyroid gland. They give it to the patient because they once they take out the thyroid gland, there will be low production of thyroid hormones, right? Side effects, there will be a decrease in neutrophil count, a decrease in white blood cells count, and the patient will be more prone to infection. The patient will have a rash, possibility of hypertoxicity, GI upset, and if the dose is too high, the patient can end up with the signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism, which include lethargy, weight gain, hold intolerance, depression, and bradycardia. Remember, it takes a week to two weeks for this medication to fully kick in and have its full effects to take place. So monitor the patient's CBC levels during therapy as well as liver function because this medication causes a risk of hypertoxicity. Radioactive iodine. It's used for hyperthyroidism as well as a thyroid cancer. Its mode of action is it is absorbed by the thyroid and it destroys thyroid producing cells. Side effects include radiation sickness, bone marrow suppression. With bone marrow suppression means it's messing up with your cells right you'll have low count of red blood cells white blood cells and platelets and possibility of hypothyroidism always remember with us you advise the patient to increase their fluid intake while on these meds and void frequently since it's radiation to take it flush it out of the body they should limit their contact with other people because of its radiation maintain a safe distance with people flush the toilet twice always have a shield when flushing so that water doesn't flashback to them and they shouldn't share utensils while on this medication for the prescribed time duration. Strong iodine solution. It's used for hyperthyroidism as well as when somebody is preparing for a thyroidectomy. As we talked about, thyroidectomy is the removal of a thyroid gland. Mode of action, it inhibits thyroid production and release due to high levels of iodine. So it, it disrupts production and release. Side effects include iodism, which signs and symptoms of iodism are metomatitis, sore throat and gum hypersensitivity, metallic taste, puritis or rash, which is itchiness, and GI upset. Always remember to encourage the patient to increase their fluid. They can mix this medication with juice to help improve the test. And they should avoid foods that are high in iodine, like iodized salt, which is table salt, and also seafood. So we are increasing the fluid to flush it out of the system. And also iodine causes constipation. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Bye.